time crystals are very, very interesting because they're an example that of, of a physical system that we thought would never be possible to construct. So a time crystal, a time crystal very basically is a crystal, a structure that repeats in time on a regular basis, just the way a normal crystal, which I guess we're, we're going to keep calling crystal instead of calling it like a space crystal or something. A normal crystal is an arrangement of molecules or atoms that repeat themselves in space. Well, if you have some arrangement of atoms or molecules that has some configuration and then cycles to another configuration and then back and forth, back and forth over time, that is a time crystal. But here's the key. It has to be in its ground state. The system has to be in its lowest energy configuration because if you're bumping it up to a higher energy level, then, then all bets are off. You can do whatever you want. But if a system is in its ground state, there's some restrictions of how it can behave over time. And here's the big deal about a time crystal. One of the basic tenets, the mathematical building blocks of our modern understanding of physics is that symmetries in nature are connected to conservation laws. This is from the work of the brilliant mathematician Emmy Nother, or Nutta, or, or I don't know exactly how it's pronounced in German, but it reads like Nother. Early 20th century, contemporary of Einstein, all that. Absolute, absolute genius. And she made the mathematical connection that if there's a symmetry in this system, then there is a conservation law associated with it. For example, if you have a physical system that's perfectly symmetric in space, where if you can do some experiment and get some answer and then pick up your experiment and move it over somewhere else and redo the experiment and you get the exact same answer, there's a symmetry there in space. It means there is a conservation of momentum. If you can take your experiment, pick it up and turn it over here and repeat it and get the exact same answer, you get conservation of angular momentum. There are symmetries in the equations of electromagnetism. There's a conservation law associated with that that you may know as electric charge. Electric charge, the conservation of electric charge is connected to symmetries in the mathematics of electromagnetism. There's also a symmetry in time. If you can do your experiment, wait a little bit, have lunch, wait a week, wait a year, whatever, repeat the experiment, get the exact same result, you have a symmetry in time. And connected to that is conservation of energy. So a normal crystal, this means a normal crystal, a space crystal, is not symmetric in time. I'm sorry, it's not symmetric in space. It's a regular repeated lattice. There are variations from place to place on a crystal. This means inside a crystal, conservation of momentum can be violated. And it's totally fine. You can violate conservation of momentum inside a crystal. You can have two waves going the same direction, bump into each other, and the combined wave comes the opposite direction. It's called the umclap process, which means is German for flipped over. And it's totally legit. There's no spatial symmetry in that system. So conservation momentum does not need to be obeyed. Now we've found examples in nature of systems that break these conservation laws. Wherever we break a symmetry, we break the associated conservation law, except conservation of energy. We have always found time time invariant systems or time symmetric systems. But with the development of time crystals, it means in the vicinity of a time crystal, conservation of energy is broken. And we didn't think this would be possible, but yet here we are. It was just first proposed half a decade or so ago. And a few years later, we're able to design experiments. Now, it is a somewhat tricky setup. Uh, it's not exactly in equilibrium. In fact, if the system is perfectly equilibrium, it's perfectly left to its own devices, you can't have uh, this time crystal behavior. But it's a non-equilibrium system, but it's still in its ground state. It, it's a little bit complicated to describe, as you might imagine. But in that system, conservation of energy, 
can be broken. Hey, it's me again. I know you just watched a few minutes of me, but who couldn't use a little bit more me? I'm just here to beg you to please subscribe. And if I remember, there's going to be a button like right here uh, where I'm vaguely gesturing so that you can click the button and subscribe and it's super handy. Uh, this is so that you can get the latest updates of all my shows. I mean, that's basically how it works. So if you like what you just saw, uh, you'll get more of it if you subscribe. Super easy.